Vegas Golden Knights lose 5-2 to two against the Nashville Predators. Here in Las Vegas, the beautiful T-Mobile Arena, the Fortress. They didn't go to the game tonight. Did not. But I thought with Cody Eakin's new sexy mullet and behind Coach Jared Gallant's 250th win that Vegas will do something nice today. We'll do something special. But it turns out in the first period that... Turris gets the early goal two minutes and 14 seconds in. It was just speed from the get-go for Nashville. And really, just keeping the puck inside Vegas' defense. Flurry could have had a hand on it. And that will continue to be the theme of the night. Tonight? Ha! No time for puns, kids. Let's get back to the action. Penalty on Vegas. McNabb, because of course, holding. But thankfully, Vegas' penalty killing is... Decent enough, I mean, not to humble brag here, boys and girls, but first in the NHL, not not too bad, not too shabby. Now, here's the thing, boys and girls. Nashville is starting fast and quick, and it's just, it's just a fucking nightmare. It's just a fucking nightmare because Pecorine is too good right now. That meme was a thing, right? But in truth, it's facts. When... Pecorino is on. He is on. And tonight, he showed that swag. And early on, I just thought, oh, God, this is just going to be one of those frustrating nights where we concede early. Maybe we get a goal back. So we get a power play opportunity. What happens? What happens? Mark Stone. Mark Stone. Boys and girls, I love Mark Stone. Have I told you that before? I love this guy. This guy is just fantastic. And you know what? He gets that power play goal. And it's delivered beautifully by none other than Vegas' first ever draft pick, Cody Glass. And Cody is someone I really do like here on this Vegas Golden Knights team. He is He's another fantastic player, which I'm going to heap praise on tonight. I really will because there's... Not a lot of positive things to say about tonight's game. Other than the fact that, yeah, that first period brought up hopes because Mark Stone scored. On a power play, no less. On a power play, boys and girls. We usually suck on the power play. We do. That we do. But here's the thing. After that power play goal, it just felt like more energy was coming from Vegas. There's more life to them. And 17 minutes and 23 seconds into that first period, who gets the goal? Riley Smith. It's a great defensive zone face-off, and from that point, it's just it's just William Carlson, Riley Smith, and that beautiful Haig doing the business. And honestly, boys and girls, I thought, all right, this is looking good. Good enough. And, oh, I apologize. That's actually Marsh, so not Haig. Fuck that up real quick. Knew it I would. And really, I thought this goal was going to be the turning point for Vegas saying, all right, we're just going to dominate this game, go for it, and there's the fight. Yes, there's the fight. Mark Stone versus Yossi. Mark Stone is the one-punch man. Mark Stone! I mean, he, he really is the one-punch man. Just takes out uh, Yossi in one fucking punch. And yeah, five-minute major. Overall, you know, it looked like, cool, Vegas is pissed off, they're ready to go, they're going to hammer at it, and yeah, Mark Stone might be out for those first few minutes of the second period, but we're going to get back at it. And when I'm watching this broadcast, what do I see? Gary Bedman on my TV screen, which was kind of neat. I was like, oh, cool, you went to the White House today, and then you flew back to Vegas, that's, that's kind of cool, man, but weird, but cool, all right. And Darren Millard. Also, like, cool but strange to see still. But that's besides the point. Because in the second period, it's a disaster. Okay? And, and that might be, you know, when I was watching the game, that might have been a panic word. But, no, it was a disaster. It was the start of the disaster to come in the second period. First goal in the third, second period, it is by Sisson Sis... I fuck up names. 44 seconds in, but hey, the reality of whether or not I fucking butcher these names or not is the fact that Nashville scored, equalized the game pretty handily, too. I mean, you have 
<laughs> you have England and Haig just kind of just all in their space. Flurry just pfft, lets that shit go. And that from that point on, it just felt like, cool, Pacioretty's getting a penalty. Somehow we still kill that off. Right afterwards, Yarncroft, five minutes and eight seconds in, gets the goal. Um, it Arvidsson having a huge role in, in this team's just success tonight. You know, able to find Yarncroft. And Flurry just looked really out of it after that third goal. I really felt like after that third goal, Flurry should have maybe been pulled for Dansk if we wanted to win this fucking game. But no. Because we decide, hey, defense could pull us out. We're going to be okay. And maybe more goal scoring will happen. Now, Nashville scores first. Fucking six minutes and 52 seconds. All right? So in the span of seven minutes, right, seven full minutes, Nashville just pounces on our ass and just hands us, like, the fucking pucks right to our goddamn face. Like, fuck you. Eat that shit. And Flurry mostly did. I mean, he was just... At times, like, just the most frustrating thing about this game was just Flurry. Um, at the same time, he was also the good part about this game. The dude tries to clear the puck behind the net and fucks up. And this is where just, you know, Forsberg getting that third goal in the third in the second period. I, I keep confusing with third because I wanted this fucking game to end. I did. I did, boys and girls, because even with the power play opportunity, he can't score. You just can't. Just can't. And another power play goal. Opportunity. Nothing. Nothing. I know. I'm, I'm just kind of all over the place right now because what I saw in that second period was just, what the fuck are we doing? Why are we so sloppy? It's just these constant questions popping in your head. And the doubt starts creeping in. Okay, when it's 4-2, to two, you give up 3 nothing in the second period. In the span of 7 minutes, the doubt starts creeping in, right? Then you have too many men on the ice, right? Because with 17.8 seconds left in the fucking second period, yeah, what else do you want to do? Take another penalty. Of course you do. Of course you fucking do. And it's just boneheaded mistakes in the second period. And you would think, okay, cool. We start the third period. Let's start fresh. You know, usually the third period, Vegas tends to dominate. They can turn it on. We've seen it before. But not the case tonight. Not the case tonight. They kill that penalty that spills into the third period. And then Braden McNabb gets another fucking penalty. Because of course he does. Because of course he does. And off of that penalty, Vegas finally concedes a penalty. Goal. Power play goal. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, dude. Did you smoke too much? Yeah, I'm trying to fucking smoke so I can fucking relax tonight. And I did. Watching the shit, I'm thinking, oh my fucking god, I need to fucking take the edge off tonight. Because otherwise, I'm going to be super yelly, yellier than usual. Because this this fifth goal, to be honest, by Turris was just... Uh, was just flurry looking... Oof, toast. It just didn't look great. And obviously... It could be said the other players were just god-awful at times. You know, just trying to protect the area within the penalty kill area. But yeah, neither here nor there. Because Marsh had a perfect opportunity. Two-on-one situation with Riley. Nope. Because Pecorine is too good right now. He is. Turris was owning all kinds of souls tonight. He was. He just had us by his fucking fingers like, ah. Matt Duchesne, yeah, wasn't much of a factor, but was a constant pestle, like, a pest for that, you know, Vegas defense. And we we're just absolutely falling apart. And, of course, we get a penalty, our fifth penalty of the game for cross-checking by Zikoff. And this is where my, my admiration for Cody Glass jumped all the way from, like, 95 to... 250 if that's even possible to break that 100 barrier and just <laughs> go through because god damn it cody glass standing up for zika who's trying who's almost getting run over by the nashville players who admittedly you know the the teams today really had angst against each other there was a lot of animosity there in that um matchup today and i'm pretty sure 
after that fight in the first period, it was just a lot of ooh, aggression in that building. I can only imagine 18,000 people there tonight. And what do you want to do to end this game? How do you want to send a message uh, out to your audience and to your boys, to your team members? You get into another fight. Well, Max Pacioretty. And Ham Hughes? Yeah. Gets into the fight. It's just one, two, one, two, one, two for each other. Breaks apart. And this is seven team, you know, not even what? Four minutes and 48 seconds left in this fucking game. Like, who, really, Vegas? We're just trying to get physical again? Is this game four of the Stanley Cup finals again? Is it? Because, Jesus Christ, I remember that game four. We completely lost the plot in the last two minutes of the game. Just everything goes haywire. Uh, just physical aggression. Just, ah, caveman rage. And, you know, Vegas gets a power, you know, power play opportunity. The third one of the game in this 17 whatever fucking second. 38 seconds left in the game. Like, who gives a shit? They're not going to fucking score. And they don't. Right? And so... Vegas just ends completely in disaster tonight. And you're just left there wondering, like, damn, man, like, we suck tonight, but the fucking Predators just got mad. They got fucking mad. And the whole idea for them was, all right, man, you could one punch our dude, but fuck you, we're going to fucking score. And they did! That second period was a disaster for the Vegas Golden Knights. Holy fucking shit. Three goals in seven minutes? Hmm, where have I seen that before? I, that's right. We've done worse. But hey, that's an improvement, right? Three goals in seven minutes, that's not too bad. But hey, here's the thing. Pecorino was too good right now. I mean, this guy had 33 saves on 35 shots. 943 save percentage. And that's not to be sarcastic by any means. Pecorino was absolutely fantastic. He was stopping almost everything. He robbed so many goddamn goals. Same can be said for Marc-Andre Fleury. He did rob a couple of goals from Nashville. However, uh, the save percentage is not too kind for him. 34 saves on 39 shots. Again, a 72 save percentage based on how... <sighs> knuckleheaded some of those decisions were with his puck and the fucking stick. Like, come on, bro. What are you doing? What, what, I thought you're, you're better than that flower. You are. I we we know you are. I know you are. You're my boy, Blue or Flower. Shit. I mean, Vegas's defense didn't do him any favors, but at the same time, Flower didn't do himself any favors. He was his own worst enemy tonight. And yeah, the the reality too is all right, man. Again, I I've, I've listed you guys the numbers of times how many fucking numbers of pucks Mark Andre Fleury has saved. He's taking a lot of shots early in the season. Can you put an Oscar dance at some point, coach? Please? Please? I mean, you're going to wear out Mark andre Fleury again. Do, do you want to do that? Do you want to choke in the playoffs again? Ah, oh, fuck. I mean, here's the thing, man. One out of three on the power play. Ah. Ah. We were going so well against the Kings, and then we come into this game, just shit the bed on the power play. That could have been the game changer. I mean, it should have, could have, would have, but absolutely. You missed a golden opportunity on the power play to change the momentum of the game in that second period. You didn't. You didn't. Four out of five on the penalty kill, however, I will say very impressive. Well, although the, the one that got away, we conceded the goal, of course, but... Four out of five, I'll take that positive. I absolutely will. And three stars of the game, Cody Glass, Sissons, and Turs. I know I'm saying the fucking last name wrong, but come on, forgive me. My foibles are a lot, and you've seen it before, boys and girls. This is what I do. I curse, I fuck up, and I will bitch and moan. But at the same time, I will love and drool over because our boys, Cody Glass and Mark Stone. I mean, these guys are just captain material. Um, I know Vegas's tradition is going to be to keep this alternate captaincy role for at least, you know, revolving kind of order. And I get it. I, and I, you know what? I love it. I do. I absolutely do. And I respect the organization's decision to do that. However, if in the near future this talk comes up of captaincy, I mean, you are looking at Mr. Las Vegas right here. Mr. Captain. Mr. I can score whenever the hell I want because 
I'm Mark Stone. He is. I mean, he's got so many goals, and he's also motivating Riley Smith in a way. And that first line to get all those goals too. Riley's got five goals in the year. And so, yeah, I'm taking a couple of those positives in tonight. Cody Glass was a warrior. He stood up for his brothers. His brothers on ice. And God damn it, guys. It sucks. I know. I see that T-Mobile arena. I'm always in that T-Mobile arena when I could be. Uh, of course, I got lazy today. I wanted to just kind of stay in the smoke. But I know when that arena gets emptied out. I understand that it's a weekday. I understand that there's traffic. I do, and it's late. And once you get out and get to a certain part of town, it's probably going to be 11 o'clock at night. However, come on, guys. Come on. Whenever I see the fans boo our own team, I get a little upset. Not just a little upset. I get pissed off. Because I look at those people, right? the, the same people who are booing. I'm like, you fuckers probably would leave at the first sign of a disastrous season in the coming years. We never know when that's going to happen. Eventually it might, right? The reality is no team can maintain success forever, right? Failure will happen eventually. But when that happens, where will you be? Where will you be? Guess where I'll be? I'll be right here. Cheering my Vegas Golden Knights. And you know what? Losses suck. They do. They absolutely do. I know firsthand. And I know the... Fucking National Girls are going to the World Series. Don't fucking remind me right now. Okay, what I'm trying to fucking say is right now, boys and girls. I'm trying to hide this goddamn shit. Palpatine style. What I'm trying to say, support your goddamn team. Okay? Actually, I'm going to put this back on because that was out of rage. Support your goddamn team. Okay? It sucks. It sucks to lose. I know. It sucks to lose. But the love that you have for your team has to stand. Otherwise, we're just animals. Truly. So, boys and girls, I'm going to leave it at that. Sucks to lose, but we got another game on Thursday against the Ottawa Senators. The brand wagon will be back, and I will be at T-Mobile Arena, hopefully, if I don't get lazy as fuck. So, boys and girls, follow me at the Sky Lounge on all the links in the description below. Like, comment, subscribe for more daily content. Go Knights, go! Now fuck off.